Here's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. If you're Spider-Man, you're going to use your power before attacks are started. So before people are laying down attack cards on their hero card. You're going to announce that you're using your power. And when you do, you're going to draw two cards secretly and randomly from your neighbor. And secretly just means that they're not going to look at it. No one else is going to look at it except you. You're going to draw two from that person, that neighbor. You're going to draw two from this neighbor. You're going to get to look at all four attack cards. And you must play two of them as your attack for that offensive. The other two immediately are discarded. If you're shield, what you might want to do is if you're out of blue attack cards and you don't want to throw a red card, you can use that power to try and get a little bit more information. Yeah, you might draw red cards from both sides, but you also might not. If you're drawing blue cards from people, you have a decent chance that they might be higher because they might have been hoarding blue cards. Now, if they've got red cards, and they only had one or two cards left, it's a pretty good chance that they're shield. Now you have a little bit more information about who they are. Like I said, a friendly neighbor. If you're Hydra, what you might want to do is if two shield members are next to you, there's a pretty good chance that they've got blue cards if one of them has just gotten the first player token. They've got a full new set of cards, so there's a decent chance that they've got blue. You can use your power to steal those blue attack cards. Again, it's going to be random. So you can use that power to steal those blue attack cards and then immediately discard them. If you get red cards pulled from them, great. Now you have more red cards that you can use and be like, oh, sorry, I pulled a lot of red cards. I had to play two of them. I didn't have a choice.